Hi, I'm Erica Robichaux, and I live in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I've lived here for about 11 years now, and I've been out in Baton Rouge for about nine years. Um, I'm pretty active in the community. I do a lot of community outreach sort of things, and uh, also involved in the Capital City Alliance, which is sort of the Gay Straight Alliance um, organization in Baton Rouge. I'm also really involved in um, sort of Bible study, sort of church, sort of our own kind of thing um, called Jubilee Pioneers. It's um, basically a bunch of people who kind of got fed up with the church and so we get together and uh, we have a, an ex-pastor who, um, who kind of gives us messages and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. And recently I've become quite the activist. Um, with the whole Supreme Court thing, and, and there's a lot of stuff going on in Louisiana right now. Um, so I've had a lot of opportunity to um, participate in a lot of stuff like that, so that's been pretty fun. But pretty much everybody in Baton Rouge who knows me knows that I'm both gay and a Christian. Um, that pretty much goes for everybody in the gay community and the straight community. Um, so I get a lot of questions. Um, especially with the, the recent Supreme Court hearings. Um, I had a lot of people asking my advice and opinions and things like that. So um, I feel like I have to be pretty up on what's going on, the current events, stuff like that. Um, I feel like when I get questions about homosexuality in the Bible, I can answer pretty well. Um, but I've never really systematically studied it. I do a lot of reading about the topic on my own. Um, anytime I see a blog post or YouTube video or something like that, I'll read it. But um, I haven't ever had the opportunity to really study it in depth in any sort of systematic way. So I'm really excited about um, the possibility of being able to do that. Uh, I'm a big nerd. So um, I find everything super interesting, um, especially this topic. Uh, also, I am an administrator of a Facebook page. Um, it's a, a, a gay Christian Facebook page, and we get a lot of people who will message us and ask us for advice, and uh, I kind of feel like I'd like to be better equipped to uh, answer their questions. Um, I think, though, that the biggest piece of this for me is that I want to be able to have a more effective dialogue with my own family. Um, I guess they're always the easiest and the hardest people to talk to. And um, I grew up in the church and my family has very, very specific beliefs about uh, this whole topic. And I find that I sometimes stray away from um, getting into the conversations with them because I want to be able to have the most effective arguments possible um, and I don't feel like I have that right now. So if I got that opportunity to um, get all those questions answered in my own head then I would feel more comfortable talking to them about it and in turn um, I guess more comfortable talking to everybody about it. So I'm um, really excited about this conference. Even if I don't get selected, I'm really excited that it's happening. And um, I really, really hope that I get to be part of it.